Hello, everyone. Mirror, mirror. Oh, <laughs> there you are. Are you ready to learn how to do your makeup just like me? Well, keep on watching. Mm -hmm. Hello everyone, Allie here. We're gonna do some makeup. Okay, we're starting with our primer. We're doing a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and I'm really working it in to all those little spots with a damp, clean beauty blender. Then we are going to go in with our Lock It Tight Foundation Minus in Cool 46 from Kat Von D. For any tough spots, I go over them with a dark circle concealer corrector in Fair from NYX NYX. And I'm also using that same beauty blender. <laughs> I'm really getting in there. Then I go over everything with a neutral set colorless powder from the Nye. This is all stage makeup, so it's really going to last and hold. I found through a little trial and error here that that beauty blender works really well at applying pressed powder too, so give that a try. Now we're going through with a highlighter. I'm using e.l.f. Moonlight Curls Highlighter and I'm really focusing on my cheeks, the tops of them, make them more round, the book Cupid's Bow to make that really stand out. We pronounce my eyebrows with an eyes arched. Now we're going in and we are focusing on the Anita nose for just a bit of contour to make our nose look tinier and more round. I'm using the e.l.f. Beautiful Browns palette for this. Works great. Now we're going to round those eyes. Snow White doesn't have much for eye makeup, but what she does have is very neutral, and it's more in the browns and the grays. So I'm using a nice clean brush, a blending brush, to work that in so you don't use that much product. Focusing also on the bottom, to again round out my eyes. Now we're going to go in and we are going to liquid line just the top of our eyes, no cat eyes, nothing fancy, just end in a nice thin line. She does have that black liquid liner look on the top of her lid, just very iconic of the 1950s. Once that's dry, go in with a little bit of darker eyeshadow here, and we're just, again, focusing on making your eyes nice and round and shadowed. Now we're going in with highlighter once more. We're using that e.l.f. highlighter and focusing on getting the eyes nice and round, eyebrows nice and arched, and then we're accentuating it even more in just a few spots with the shadow and eyes from Ben Nye. Oh, get your nose. All right, now we are going to work on our eyebrows. I'm using a black pencil from Essence, and I'm really focusing on getting that nice and arched. And then, too, her eyebrows are really thin. I'm using that spoolie brush to work it in, keep it natural. And then I'm setting the black with a dark brown powder, very fine little brush. Now we're going to curl those lashes and apply some very black mascara. I love Falsies Volume Express by Maybelline. all those lashes. Get in there and don't forget the bottom ones too. And make sure that your eyes are nice and big and animated. And let's do the other one. Hey, look at that! Alright, so let's get some false lashes on. Snow White just has beautiful lashes. She doesn't have any huge false lashes. So keep it natural. 
I just found these at the store. They were just in one of those big bins. So they're not by any particular brand. Oops, I messed up there. Don't worry, you can fix any little mess ups. Alright. I do apologize, we lost some footage here. So I used that blush. I really focused on the rounds of my cheeks to really make a nice, beautiful round face like Snow White has. I went over with some lip liner all over my lips, all of it, not just the outline. Filled it in with some lipstick, and then I worked the gloss in, which you can see happening here, focusing on keeping that nice heart-shaped lip. Now it's time for the wig! Yay! I have a lot of hair, and oh, oh yeah, that's right, I got this thing from the thrift shop, and I forgot to take off the tag. Anyways, back to the wig. I cut a hole in the top of my wig caps because it's just easier for me to get my hand in there and move around my hair and make sure it all sits nice and flat. Now, this wig is nothing fancy. I got it off of Amazon for like 15 bucks five years ago, so it's still holding up, holding strong. Brush through everything with a bit of conditioning spray and a wire comb or brush. Now, I suggest wire because wire will calm any of the flyaways. A plastic brush will react with the plastic in the wig and make it frizzier. Now go through and you're going to focus on making your face more round. I pulled my wig down on my forehead a bit to remove some of the forehead length. Again, focusing on rounding my face and every piece of hair that I pin back, I'm looking at myself in the mirror, really focusing on getting that round shape of the face. I pin back my little bangs, I fluff out the back of my layers really focusing on getting it round. Then I set everything once I'm happy with some glued freeze hairspray by got to be. Now for a last minute little touch up here, I'm using a tiny little foundation brush thing and some concealer and I'm focusing on just the lip line and I'm going through and just cleaning up that lip line any of the lipstick that gets on the brush. I just it off in between and keep going. Make sure you blend it out. Now for the final thing. Now this was for a photo shoot. So yeah, I'm sticking cotton balls in my cheeks and I'm really focusing on getting up into my cheekbones to make my face look long round because I naturally have very defined cheekbones. And this did work. Photos look great. Alright, and get that T-zone. Get it all nice and bright so sweaty. Make sure you set it to. And I'm just going to buff out some of that blush. And voila! There's the finished look, everybody. What do you think? Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Give me a follow and have a fantastic day. You guys rock! Bye!